Chinese, you know, fat guy, you know what I mean? Not quite Chinese, but something else. A whole nother race of Chinese Asian. <laughs> might be melanated, might not be. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now they just put in your face, man. We're talking Hebrews, man. It's cold word. Because they don't want you to connect with the fight, the fight, the fight. And why it's all going down. Come on, man. Let's finish it right here, man. It's been a great press to hour. Love to Joseph Dorio. Let's get this last part, man. I'm on page nine, by the way. I was trying to get all the way through it. You might have to finish it. But let's get it. had to be baptized was already fixed in the Bible. Joe Kim had added to the program the return to the fold, the Greeks return to the fold since the Crusaders. The Westerners were convinced that the Ishmaelites or the Ishmaelitans, so they were convinced that Ishmael normally meant the Saracens could only be extirpated. Let's see what that is, man. Let's, let's get some clarity. So they were convinced that Ishmael, which normally meant the Saracens, all right, normally, even though they also labeled you Saracen, normally, you know what I'm saying, you're talking about Ishmael when you talk Saracen. Though. That's what they tell me. And we keep getting this term extirpated. Extirpate means to root out and destroy completely. To root out and destroy completely, man. To weed out, stamp out, root out, wipe out, eliminate, suppress, crush, to put down. All right. Okay. I got it. Okay, player. I, I see what you want to do. You want to extirpate. You want to completely destroy, just like the papal bull, right? I got you. So they were convinced that the ish, the cruise, since the crusades, the Westerners were convinced that, that Ishmael or the Saracens could only be rooted out or destroyed, which normally meant the Saracens. But, you know, they're also talking about all you Nagas, especially by the time we get to 1452. Already shortly after the Mongol incursions to Europe, the Tartars had become the incarnation of the heathens of this program. Sound like the Matrix, huh? The Tartars had become the incarnation of the heathens. But who's the real heathen? Not according to their program. Who's the real heathen? And who's the real priest, the real Khan? We just talked from Preston John. The Franciscan Adam of March already, in about 1245, had ad admonished the Pope to remain firm, warning that everything would very soon take a turn for the better. The Saracens would be extinguished, the Tartars converted, <laughs> the Greeks would return home. And again, Roger Bacon in 1267 was convinced, quote, it's been prophesied for 40 years now that in our times there will be a pope and because of his goodness truth and justice will be fulfilled and that the Greeks will return to obedience to the Roman church. The larger part of the Tartars will be converted and the Saracens extirpated or wiped out completely. So hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. If the Tartars are the Saracens, right? This lets you know you're talking about another group of people, right? So the larger part of the Tartars will be converted. That's Genghis Khan's people. Those are Hebrew people. Let go. In the hijack, they still got a lot of Hebrews in their camp. And the Saracens will be. Man, we back, baby. So they want.
Uh, it's the third wave, man. And they're trying to still convert the Hebrews. Hold up, man. They know they can't wipe the Hebrews out. Y'all get in that classroom. Y'all get the app. Y'all go ahead and dig on it, man, in the real way. At 432, the drop. Download the app for free, getting the press to hour. Man, I miss my people, man. I miss my weeples. It's been a journey, man. What can I say? It's been a journey for real, for real. You know, when you surf the wave, you surf the entire wave, man. You surf the wave up, you surf the wave down. And it's amazing, man. Uh, when you let Hawa work, when you let Hawa do Hawa, when you let your 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 breath of security be your breath of security, the trust that you gain is fortification. The trust that you gain through an event, through a process that you never saw coming, that you can't avoid. I'm sure a lot of my people going through similar things, man. I mean, hey, man, where, where have I been, man? I'm about to get all in it. This is my testimony. Man, all praise the most high, man, and love to the false witnesses with false wits that gave me the opportunity to go ahead and drop my testimony, man. Because y'all see how I rock, man. You know, pretty much I stay fluid, man, in the teaching. You know what I mean? You know you're going to get the indigenous truth right here, man. Love to drop nation. You know you're going to get the script. We're going to keep it to the code. You know you're going to get the frequency, man. 432 hertz, man. Love to my street family, man. My street family. And this is what the third wave is all about, man. It's the street familiar, man. It's the street family. It's the real ones, man. It's the ones behind the wall. It's the, it, it's the prisoners, man. Locked in the clink right now, man. You don't even know. This third wave is for the real ones. The first wave... We was kicking it off the balcony. The second wave was everything in between. And this third wave right here, man, is for the prisoners. It's for the captors. It's for the real ones that never got the drop. That never heard about nothing on YouTube. They never heard about none of this, man. I don't think y'all understand. I don't think y'all understand. You got real ones. You got tribal real ones that ain't never got the drop. That ain't never heard about none of this, man. Wow, 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 wow. We over here bickering about who is this and who whose information is what and X, Y, and Z as if we have ownership over the drop, as if we have ownership over the ether that comes into us. To spread for the people, we give the water freely. I don't have no ownership over anything I talk about within the drop, within drop nation on the radio, on the site. I mean, y'all need to understand, man. You know, when I sit back and I just watch and I just observe, you know, that that that's I encourage everybody to do that sometime, man. Just fall back. For a few months and just observe. See where it takes you. See the characterizations, man. See, see all these characters popping out, man. See what's really happening. How people are trying to own information. Like it's a patent. Like, you, like, like you're trying to put a patent on Cusco. Like you want to put a patent on the city of Utah and owning land in Utah. Like you wanna you wanna patent the idea of land ownership. Let me tell you man, you come to the drop, you get all that man, the indigenous truth, the script, the frequency, you get the orientation. We're gonna get back into the to the flat drop. 
discuss the orientation, get back in that WM Christensen, man, 100 proofs that the earth is not a globe, dropped on John Hawkins University in the 1800s. This is not a new discussion, my people, but the drop is back. We back, well, like I said, this is the third way to all my balcony surface, man, much a hop to you. I love y'all, man. We be kicking it fresh off the balcony, man. You know what I mean? To all my peoples, man, that caught on to the second way, man. That, you know what I mean? Got all the drop in between. Beautiful thing, man. Y'all done seen the website go up. Y'all done seen them crash the website. Y'all saw us rebuild the website. My balcony surface even saw us. Remember, we started with the radio. We was on live365.com. And then... That went completely under the table. Out of nowhere, we had to rebuild our radio from 2014, 2013. So, you know what I mean? So, all my balcony servers to understand how we got it popping. You know what I mean? Where we, where, where, where we started, man, before we even started anything on YouTube. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, we started with 10, 12 subscribers on YouTube. Left all my new subscribers. While I've been sitting back and observing, man, we done built up thousands of new subscribers, man. So, a hop to everyone new to Drop Nation that's been waiting on the drop. Hey, I had to go through my own fortification. I had to be tested. I had to be battle tested. I had to be trained up. I done went through, what, five, six months of training just to come back to y'all. And guess what? You know what's been proven? That Hawaii is my shield of salvation. That Hawaii's own right hand will sustain me. That Hawaii will grant my way to be perfect. You understand? So we're going to get into a lot of beautiful psalms and proverbs. I, I got the Torah open, man. I got that stone edition ready to drop on my people, man. Ready to feel the flow. And I, I work my way, man, to get back to y'all, to get back to reality. You know what I mean? But to be honest, man, you know, to all those that think it's about, you know, YouTube or, or any social media, let me tell you, man, it's about the real-time flow and those people that you're coming into contact with that's never heard of any of us or anything that we're doing. When you can communicate and you can snatch somebody, you know what I'm saying, that's that that's completely in the darkness, that never even, you know, thought about the chronology, that the possibility that we <laughs> are really coming into grasp on, man, with King David Preston John existing in the twelve hundreds and eleven hundreds and the fountain of youth, the letter of Preston John in eleven sixty five. Say he and his whole tribe took six baths in the fountain of youth. That this is not some type of just, uh, you know, gimmick or religion or anything like that. When we talk about the black man in America being from America and that Columbus brought a Hebrew interpreter here to communicate with you, that's not religious. That's cultural. When we talk fountain of youth, when we talk you know what I'm saying? These beautiful kingdoms that already exist here, Jerusalem and all that, that's indigenous culture. I have to Jerusalem, man. I have to teach, man. I have to hire Mark. I have to carry Mayu, man. That's been blazing the way, man. Hire Mark, man. Man, Google done attacked this man, took down his channel. This man done built his channel back up. Been doing nothing but dropping the drop. Go right now. If you haven't already, man, make sure you go resubscribe to Higher Mark because he's building his channel up from the turf, man. And that's what we got to do. That's th This is what we do. We the mound builders, right? We the builders, man. This is the alchemy of it all, man. So we know how to rebuild. We know how to keep building. Go subscribe because this pertinent drop going down right now at Higher Mark, man. Subscribe right away. The Ether is back starting next week, January 4th, 
Friday. We're going we're gonna to get everything cracking and popping off, man, with the Shabbat Show. Come tune in live. Download the app for free on Google Play, iTunes. Download the 432 to drop app. And let's get it, man. What it do, man? How y'all been? I know things been all over the place. You know what I mean? I come back and I'm seeing all kind of things, man. I'm seeing a lot of stuff. I'm hearing a lot of things, man. I'm hearing a lot of things out here, man. So it's just great to be back. Great to, you know what I'm saying, plant the flag. Seal the land. The land is you. You are the earth. And this is what we came back for. A hop to all the dragon sponsors on the wall that's kept it going. Even in my absence, y'all kept it going to make sure the flow continues. That 432 drop. A hop to everyone that's dropping it still on our GoFundMe. Man, get all that information on the website, 432thedrop.com. Man, a hop to my wife, man. I hop to Chef Candy, man, who knows how to keep the dice rolling, man, keep up with the emails, keep up with the site. I hop to Ty Battle, man, go get in that drop library right away, you know what I'm saying, all the new drop, all the beautiful books that's been dropped, you got hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of resources for you, passwords, one, two, three, four, to get through the dough, this is not a game. This is a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? For all those that attempt to slander us, these false witnesses with false wits that have made their, you know what I'm saying, entire premise about trying to uh, disrupt the wave, put a, put a flow of chaos in our environment, man. Look, man, I don't think you really um, thought this through. I don't think you comprehend the crystallization of things. The more pressure you put on this crystal, the more it's fortified, and that's your ass. That's your ass. Because of one thing and one thing only, the price is going up, man. Love to y'all, man. Ah, man, to AD, the truth seeker, man. My real one out here in AD. Out here in L.A., man, A.D., man, love to you, man. Real talk, Isaac, man, Isaac Ford, holding me down, man, making sure we nine above at all times. Look out for it, man. I hop to Jay Stu, man. Go make sure you subscribe to Jay Stu, man. Get the drop that Jay Stu is dropping. I'm proud of the bro. He's right, man. He's absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? We got our paths, man. <laughs> we all got our paths to... To, you know, surf, man. So, we got to, there's nothing more important than being one and being respectful and just allowing each other, man, to grow, to, you know, go ahead and proclaim the new drop, the new, the new, uh, you know what I'm saying, water that that, that, that Hawa is bringing into our cypher, that Hawa is bringing into our Ruach. So, love to Jay Stu for all the water he continues to bring. And like I told y'all, if it ain't about Jay Stu, it ain't about shit. Because when other folks was being suckers, sucker MCs, talking about it, Jay Stu arrived with his family, with his wife, loved to Cam with his wife, and said, yo, we here. We in Utah, what it do? And from that point on, man, it's what it do, Jay Stu. I have Jay Stu, man, this one's for you. So we falling back, man. I, I, I just want to share... My journey, I want to share my testimony. I want to let y'all know that it's real and that it's love and that we're going to do it one more great time, man. This is just the, you know, just the kickoff. Again, we got the launch next week, January 4th. Be there, our Shabbat show. And we got all the family about to drop in the ether and just keep it flowing, man, bigger and better than ever. You know, Waz giving us amazing inspiration. Amazing goals, amazing vision, amazing clarity. I've never been clear before my entire, you know, journey on this earth plane, man. So it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Just, I'm going to start popping videos out and all that. Just like, ba da 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 you know what I mean? Rapid fire, man. Effing style, you know what I'm saying? So it's a beautiful thing. We here. I'm grateful, man. I've been listening to just all the drops from higher mark been dropping man all day so i'm a little 
I'm a little just uh, zany right now, man, listening to High Mark, man, the hive to you, brother, the hot con, the guardian on the wall. Ain't no play play. We right here, full, man, active. We back active in this beautiful man again. Love to Jay Stu and the crew. Love to teach. Love to all the family, man. I can't I can't say enough. Love to Yosef the real. Man, if you don't know, you better know, man. Go ahead and you know, get with the good bro on uh, on IG. You can always find him in the drop, drop, chatter, chat to chat, chatter. Love to die woo, I have a dragon. You know what I mean? Love to the Templar Urban Reed. You know what I mean? I mean, I can't say enough, man. Love to my Jigga. Love to KB, the hijack of Cezanne. Love to Con Fresh, man. This is for you. We back, Jack. Man, you know how it is in the 15th round when you took that, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You, you've been doing your thing and then, bang, you get, you, get, you, get, you get caught. But it don't phase you. And you're still standing. At that point, you realize one thing. And one thing on you here to stay. Hawa is your substance. Hawa has sustained you. So you can now dance around with your hands down, knowing you can take your enemy's greatest blow. And that's how I feel right now. You know what I'm saying? I could take my enemy's greatest blow. And all I do is keep on growing and keep on coming for you. And goddamn, man, I ain't got no fear of me. So for all the fault finders and all the false witnesses with false wits, I'm trying to say something about the draft situation, I'm trying to say something about the draft's journey. Oh, man, I guess you got to hear it from the drop. I guess you lack knowledge. I guess you weren't there to witness, which makes you a false witness with false wits and you spread it to your people oh damn they should be ashamed of y'all man how dare you speak on the drop how dare you speak on what's going on in the journey that hawaii is fortifying us with i mean damn can you imagine you know joseph going through his thing someone throwing him into a dungeon and all of joseph's people just laughing at him and and, and talking shit, not knowing that Joseph is being fortified to raise up, to rise up, to quam, to build the storehouses for the kingdom. Hey, look, man, this is what we're all doing right now. We're building storehouses, drop by drop, brick by brick. We rebuild our house. We know how to build. We know how to rebuild. A hive to the tribe, man. A hive to my sisters, man. Jackie Anthony, man. We back. What it do? Let's go, man. Love to my sisters, man. Uh, Kenya, man. Kenya on IG, man. She's always dropping amazing drop, man. Uh, uh, my my sister. Um, I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna get it right. Nella Seven. There we go. Nella Seven. What it do? I already said Ty Battle Aqua Ty. What it do? Love to my sister V Perkins, man. V Perkins in Louisiana. I love you, sister. We back. Yo, you already know, man. It's Choose Up Village all day. You know what I mean? And that's another thing, man. It's like when you have, you know, just the, the foundation to seal the land and it's in you, you can't take. No one can take credit for that, man. That's all Hawa. To seal the land is in Jeremiah. You know what I'm saying? To seal the land is what is already within us within our covenant. You can't take credit for whatever is within us in our covenant. And if you have any inspiration to lend to that, all you can do is be grateful that you inspire. But I hear people trying to take credit for selling the land when they ain't sealed no land. I inspire my brothers to go sell the land. I inspire my brothers to build choose of villages all over the world, man, across the plain, man. Go buy land, five acres, two acres, a half an acre. Seal the land, build your refuge so you know where to go when the shit hits the fan. We don't talk about it. We be about it. We choose up. That's what Choose Up Village is about. 
I hollered to my sisters, man. I hollered to my real ones. Again, my beautiful Yap Pa wife, true turf soldier, you know what I'm saying? It's great, man, to be with a soldier. It's great to be with a real one. And my wife's a real one, man. So love to shake candy. For real, for real. You already know. Love to Aqua D in Milwaukee. Love to you, Aqua D. Can't wait, man, just to hear hear your pop poetry, your passion in the ether, and to get down with that Miss D in the copper color awakening. Once again, you know what I mean? Man, I, I'm just excited, man. You know what I mean? It's a beautiful thing. I'm sharing my testimony. We feeling good, man. Cheers to the tribe. Love to my dragon sponsors on the wall. Love to everyone who just subscribed. Love to everyone who just became sponsors. Everyone who's registered on the site. All the amazing comments that y'all left on that 44 second, uh, you know what I'm saying, interlude, man. You know, the drop is back. The price is going up, man. I'm trying to tell y'all the price is going up. I ain't talking t-shirts, man. I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying, the payback is in the playback. The payback is in the playback. You know, on the payback, on that James Brown payback tip, if you don't know about Sparta time, then you don't know what I'm talking about. If you don't know about Sparta time, you don't know about kicking the hijack in the chest bone, and dancing up on it. Dun, 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 you don't know about kicking the hijack straight up in the chest bone, man. Man, you <laughs> if you ever heard that drop sound effect as the hijack is falling forever and ever, it feels good, man. You know what I'm saying? We do Sparta times, man, on the Eat the Show. You already know, man. So, yeah, man, if you don't know about that, then you don't understand the paybacks and the playback. And in terms of the payback, the price is going up. For these false witnesses with false wits, man. Let's go ahead and vibe up, man. I'm going to get a couple scripts. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to get right into it, man. Let's, um, we're going to go right into Exodus chapter 20. I love y'all. Obviously, man, I'm just, I'm all over the place. I'm just excited. I'm excited. When, when, once you hear, once you get to the end of this video and you hear the testimony, please share it. You know, for all those that's going through anything similar, that's been wrongfully, you know what I'm saying, just, uh, you know, you know what I mean, just attack for no damn, you know, whatever the case is. But we understand that we are already at war. We understand that we are already in a battle. So nothing should be surprising. Nothing should shock us, man. We feeling it, man. We reeling it. You know what I mean? So, you know, our refuge is a why. And he's given us an amazing uh, opportunity to build with a few. You know what I mean? My goal ain't to have 10,000 homies and 10,000 friends. My goal is to build with a few. And we've been able to do that. And I feel grateful. You know what I mean? I'm grateful to the few that I built with. You know what I mean? I'm grateful for those that you build with. Because it's all one thing. It's all one connection. Hawa is the locks. You know what I'm saying? We're all these locks connected to one source. Like... Jay Stu saying, man, you can't judge a man because he on this path and you on this. You don't know what this man is being fortified to. You don't, you don't, you don't know what Jay Stu is being built up to, you know what I'm saying, overstand. You can't overstand every, another man's path. You don't, you don't understand the treasure, the treasures that's going in and getting picked up in order to get back to the truth because it's all about loving the truth, man. If you love the truth, then this channel's for you. A high for subscribing, a high for staying subscribed, a high for knowing the vision and, and just being excited, man. I feel the excitement of my tribe. I feel the excitement of my Shabbata. What can you do against that? Ain't no slander in the world can take the place of the excitement of the tribe when it comes together. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Ain't, 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 ain't nothing you can do to try to discredit me or try to discredit none of my bros and none of that. And I'm saying that, man, you know what I'm saying, not not for none of these silly guys on YouTube. I'm saying that because once you hear my testimony, you'll know what this, you know, juncture has really been about. 
this, when I talk, when I, I, I'm saying you and this, man, I'm, I'm talking to my own bro. I'm talking to my own brother. You know what I mean? I'm talking to the one, man, that's, that's tatted over my chest bone, man. I'm talking to my family members, man. I've been going through a family affair. You know what I'm saying? I've been going through <laughs> a family war. You know what I mean? So this is to address that really for the first time because I always kept that separate. Everything I go through personal ain't never been put out there. But since others want to put my personal-ish out there, like some straight-up sucker MCs, like some straight-up rats, we got we got rats, you know, squilling and snitching all over the place. Yo, man, the real ones can see and feel the difference of the frequency. You know what I'm saying? The real ones are never excited when another brother has to go through any fortification or take any type of fall or L. No one ha no one laughs at that type of shit when you know what this is that we're at war and you're dealing with a government and you're dealing with these things and you're dealing with all this stuff that is nothing but traps and snares. When another brother gets caught in one, you don't ever laugh and, 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 and fucking giggle and, and just go out of your way to showcase the shit. Like, that's a whole nother frequency. And that's how I know you ain't from the turf. That's, a, that's how I know you. That's how we know you ain't pedigree. Because we pick each other up when we understand what's going on. Unless we in some violating the code type of shit unless we you know what i'm saying are killing and stealing from our brother but when you accuse somebody of these type of activities and you ain't got no 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 uh foundation you ain't got no witnessing all you doing is hoping for someone to be a certain way so that you can feel you know higher or you can feel you know what i'm saying pure because you've dirtied somebody else up, that makes you feel better. Hey man, that's straight up wicked. That's straight up wicked. Cause you've never seen on this platform us dirty up nobody's name. You've never seen on this platform us slander another brother or sister just for the hell of it, just for the fuck of it. Hey man, earmuffs to the kids, man. Put the kids to bed. This is not kitty time. This is the real time. I'm sharing my testimony. It's going to be real in a motherfucker. Because real shit's going on. And we need to get real. We need to have a face-to-face. -face. We need to have a voice-to-voice, -voice, a heart-to-heart. Ruach-to-ruach. Because I ain't playing that shit. I'm trying to tell you the truth, man. The price is going up, man. Let's get to this Exodus. I'm going to get in it right now, man. Exodus chapter 20. Let's just go. Let it go, man. I'm just too excited. I don't know. You know, I don't know what to say. Ain't nothing to say no more. Ain't nothing to say no more. Wow, wow, loud, wow. Man, man. Because it's all about the code. It's about sticking to the code. It's about staying with the code. And what's the code, man? Exodus chapter twenty. A hive to my real ones, man. This is the, the third way. We back, man. It feels good, man, because we got the Preston John drop coming up. We got the flat drop coming up. We're going to get back in the Toussaint Lee Overture, all that drop, man. The Black Jacobins. We're going to get back, man. And and just all the uh, you know the Grand Canyon drop, man. The Kalalus, Cibola, Sylvanus, Tone, Texas drop. We got a lot of script to drop. We're going to get back in, in the Book of Jazz here. We're even going to get back in the OISB, man. We're going to have fun with that. We're going to get back in the Estebanico. Cities of go oh, 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 oh. We're going to get back in that, man. We have a good time when we surf the way, man. Uh, my real one. Uh -huh. All right, man. It's late. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning, man. I ain't sleeping. I'm getting this going, man. It's time right now. You know when it's time. You know when it's the right thing going on. Hold up, man. I'm going to do this like this, man. I'm going to get some, uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get some indigenous flutes rolling, man, just for my peoples, man, because I want to make sure the vibe is real, because it's just, you know, you know the tribe is real, so we gotta make sure the vibe is real. And uh, I'm gonna get in Drive Library. You you can access it right on the mobile. You know, you see as soon as I put it in there. On the two, all you gotta do is put Drive Library. It's gonna pop up right in Google. Click that. And then now we got some fluting. You know, we, we, we get fluty sometime, man. Again, love the aqua type. I love the CJ battle, man. CJ just dropped his whole Crossroads album, man. His whole drop, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We're going to do a whole drop feature presentation, dropping that whole drop. You know what I'm saying? I know my Jigger got some new music, man. Uh, Con Fresh got some new. I know KB got some new music. We got a lot of great music going on, man. You know, within the tribe, man, and it's uh, it's its own thing. You know, what I'm saying it's its own adventure. So you know, we do it for Hawaii, we do it for the flow, and yeah, sometimes you know, sometimes you we enjoy getting a little fluty, man. You know, what I'm saying don't mind us, man. We're gonna get into the script. We're gonna get into, you know, what I mean, the inner the understanding of drop, the understanding of why I do what I do. Where I've been, where I'm going, you know what I'm saying, what it is and all that, man. We got we just gonna have a conversation. We're just gonna fall back and have a conversation, man. Welcome to Love to smiles, man, with a dude. Let's go, man. Let go. Man, love to Yahana to Hebrew Prince, man. Aha, man. My loved one, Yahana to Hebrew Prince. We back at it. <laughs> Exodus. Wow, wow, we in that Tanakh, man. Don't know you're gonna ask somebody. Wow, allow wow. Let's get. Make sure I crystal, man. Make sure we crystallize. Wow. Wow. And this ain't no emotional rap. <laughs> you know, I'm genuinely excited to be here with you and to uh, have the opportunity, man, to come back stronger, man. You know what I mean? You know, I don't plan none of this. But Hawaii has prepared my hands for war. And it's just, uh, you know, it gets, it gets, it gets pretty, um, pretty clear when those that are only looking through the lens of YouTube, or only looking through the lens of social media, or only feeling some type of way, some type of jealousy, some type of envy, some type of, you know what I'm saying, whatever the fuck. They want to attack the water, they want to attack the wave. They don't want to see clearly. They think we just over here on that play play. And I'm trying to tell y'all, the price is going up. It is what it is. We don't like to start shit, but we damn sure will finish this motherfucker. You understand what I'm saying? Our loved ones is real. Our loved ones is spread out. Our loved ones is right to your motherfucking face, bro, man. And I'm trying to tell you the truth. You know what I mean? It's one thing if you want to disagree with my information or X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? We go through all that with Horace Butler and, 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 and David Lowe. Uh, you know what I'm saying, with the whole forbidden histories, because we reading the information, they want to put copyright strikes, like we're writing books, plagiarizing they shit, because we're reading it, motherfuckers out there want to talk about 
We're stealing from them. We're stealing what? Presta John, Estebanico. What are we stealing? Buying land? The concept of buying land is, is, is thievery? Or is, is it some type of emotion you feel because we're actually doing it? Is it some type of emotion you feel because we rallied behind our brother Jay Stu and bought the land to make sure that our brother and the family, Mario Shalise, Camellia, VP, Vanessa Perkins, had a place, had a plot to make sure that we never in a position again when our family is in you dog that they are without, that they have coordinates, that they have somewhere to go. And that's not our only CUV. That will never be our only plot of land because we continue. And this is something that we do on a yearly basis because we say so. The love to spouse. Did you invent that flow? Did you invent our flow? Let's go. Let's talk about the truth. Hawaii spoke all these commandments saying, I am Hawaii, your power, who has taken you out of the land of Egypt from the house of slavery. You shall not recognize the gods of others in my presence. You shall not make yourself a carved image nor any likeness of which is in the heavens above or on the earth below or in the water beneath the earth. You shall not prostrate yourself to them nor worship them for I am Hawa, your power. who visits the sin of fathers upon children to the third and fourth generations for my enemies, but shows kindness for thousands of generations to those who love me and observe my commandments. Do we observe the realities of our secure breath? You shall not make not take the name of Hawa, your power in vain. For Hawa will not absolve anyone who takes his name in vain. What does it mean? Oh, well, Hawa says to, you know, jump off a cliff. Hawa says, you know, you don't swear falsely by the name of Hawa or Heya or Yahuwah or God. Remember the Shabbat day to sanctify six days you shall work and accomplish all your work but the seventh day is Shabbat to Hawa your power you shall not do any work you your son your daughter your slave your man maidservant your animal your your convert within your gates man it's important to overstand, understand, understand the power of rest and the absolute power of resting with Hawa. When we say Hawa, we're talking the fifth and sixth letter. We're not going crazy and, and throwing something together. And, you know what I'm saying? We didn't have to, you know, super uh, break it down and with diacritic marks. We didn't have to, you know, break it down with all this uh, Hebrew, you know, uh, La Kodesh, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> all we telling you is very simple, man. You might not understand the Hebrew language, but overstanding the Aleph Bet, overstanding this first seven letters of the Hebrew, will bring you to your secure power, your secure foundation. We showed you an etymology. 
Wa is the earlier form of Heya. We want to get to the primitive. We want to get to the prime. We want to get to the earliest. There's no better way with that, you know, Hebrew root verb, root verb than to go to the Aleph Bet. The Aleph, the strong power going into the Bayet, the, the house, the tent, the floor plan, which is you. You are the floor plan. What is your desire? A while goes into you and does what? Creates action, creates movement. You start to walk, you start to have a purpose. That's the God. You got the Aleph, the Bat, the God. Then you have the doll, the doorway. Once you have that purpose, you go through a doorway. And who's the first entity, energy to greet you? Your mama with arms raised. Not a man with arms raised. Your mama, your ha, your, your revelation, your breath, which is wisdom, which we'll get into it. Proverbs 9, man. Oh, man. We're going to get into wisdom. That's your mama. That's your Shekinah. Love to my sister Shekinah, man. Always in the heat. You know what I mean? So you go... That's a, you get that strong power from a wild man. You go, it goes into your door or, or, or your tent, your house. Then you start to move. You got action. You got the gum, the left, the bot, the gum, the doll. You got a doorway. You have purpose. You go through a door. Your mama greets you with her arms raised. Hey, baby, let me give you some. <gasps> let me give you some breath. It's ha. And then the sixth letter is a wa. In Yiddish, they have a vav, but no, there's no v's and vavs in the paleo, picto, we're talking. Wow, your foundation. They say when a dragon breathes, it sounds like wall. It means wow. What is a dragon? It means to see clearly. It is the fire, the water, the air, the earth. If you're confused about that. You need to go back to the beginning. The dragon is the angel, the winged energy that is the bridge of all the etheric planes. The fire, the water, the air, the land is the dragon or dracon. Free Phoenix. You know what I mean? So you're high, you're wild. Once you go through that door, you get your mama, you get wisdom, you get your breath, you get, you get. Ha, ah, then you get your foundation. Why is the foundation, the security? That's your mother, your father, your frame and your shape with one energy connected. Ha, ah, Then you get your Zion, your Zion. That's your seventh letter. What is that? That's your weapon. That's your rest. That's your food. That's your nourishment. Remember, that's your weapon. There's power and rest. Let's get back to it. The fourth commandment. Remember the Shabbat to sanctify it. Six days you will work and accomplish all your work. But the seventh is Shabbat. Your rest. Your power. So when we say Hawa, we're talking the fifth and sixth letter. We gave credit a million kajillion times, man. Where credit is due for anyone who's coming with something pertinent. And man... Since 2011, 12, the brother Lex Will has come with something pertinent. But then something happened. The price went up. And the brother has chosen a very, very wicked path. And we're going to get to that. Because when you become a false witness with false wits, and you lack creativity, Envy starts to rise. You start to want to get credit instead of why, instead of the power of the creator having credit for the inspiration. You want credit. This is my teaching. This is my information. You're stealing from me. Hey, 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 hey. You don't own nothing. Every breath in your body comes from our source. Have you ever had me 
yell at anybody for accusing them of thievery, stealing, because they talking about 432, because they talking about the Dragons and Preston John and Estebanico, because they talking about the drop, or am I grateful as the water that they're spreading the wave, and once people start trying to claim information like Horace Butthurt, <laughs> Trying to crash our channel down. Because we can't talk cool skull. Because it must be coming from his book. And we can't even use the fair use. To criticize. For teaching and scholarship purpose. So yeah man we gave it up. To Lex man for the H1961. But for some reason the brother stopped right there. For some reason he, he didn't want to go further. Even in his own, you know, drops, <laughs> when he pulls up an etymology that Hawa is the earlier form of Haya. And go get that breath, go get that information that we kick, go get the information that natural by law, man, love to the bro, natural by law. Always keeping it to the code about the breath, the feather, the breath. So when you're inspiring, just be humble. Don't try to start a war and call somebody a thief because they mentioned something that you inspired, such as the Papa Bull, Dumb Diverses, 1452, such as H1961. These are ins inspirational tools. And you got your credit, bro. But that ain't enough. You want more credit, and more credit, and more credit. Oh, man. It's a wrap for that. All inspiration goes to Hawaii. And if you gain anything from our 500 videos that we've kicked, all inspiration and credit goes to Hawaii. You won't hear us asking for credit for nothing. You won't hear Drop Nation ask for credit for nothing. Because that's not our spirit. That's not our Ruwa. We give all credit to Hawa for the inspiration. Let's go. <laughs> you about to hear my testimony. And I'm grateful to the fault finders and the false witnesses and those that, you know, really brought out this inspiration for this testimony. Because it needed to happen. And I was waiting for the right perfect moment man and this is the perfect moment starting the third wave man kicking off that 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 new flow that we can all enjoy and have refuge in because we all going through a lot and when you hear my testimony i ain't the only one going through it so that's why i know it's time to share and everybody that's over there you know what i'm saying trying to you know Throw daggers, man, you know, shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you, man, for not being, being a real one, for not being brotherly, for not being a true, you know what I'm saying, soldier for the code. You ain't even gotta like me, but be a soldier for the code. What's the code? Honor your father and your mother, your friend and your shaper, your your why, your wisdom, your foundation. So that your days will be lengthened upon the land that Hawaii, your power gives you. You shall not kill your brother. You shall not commit adultery against your brother. Because remember, these were codes for Israel of how to you know, raise the vibration in a community that's being formed against the hijack. You had to go to war, you had to go to war. That didn't mean don't kill and steal, don't, 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 don't kill. You know what I'm saying? In Joshua's case or in David's case when it came to war, I mean don't kill your brother. That meant, you know what I'm saying, don't commit adultery. You shall not steal. You should not bear false witness against who? Your fellow, your brother. These were codes for a community not to bear false witness. If you ain't there and you don't know about it, 
and you ain't even inquired, shut the fuck up. It's time to shut the fuck up. Because you don't know shit. And we done enough sitting around listening to you rampage. We done enough sitting around, you know what I'm saying, watching these false witnesses with false wits, you know, go on their little emotional rants, squealing all over the fucking place. Hey, look, man. When I talked to Lex Will, when we did talk on the phone, I told him personally about my woes, about my my pain that I was going through with my own brother. Someone I grew up with since I was two, three years old. I told him the whole situation that was going down, this whole family vendetta that was happening between me and my own bro. I confided in the brother personally. So, you know, to see him pop up, trying to share articles and stuff like that about shit I was going, you know what I'm saying, going through in 2011, that I told him, hey man, look up this article, man, so you know what I'm talking about. Then the next thing he shared it on YouTube, Hey, man, I mean, I'm going to get to the story. It's the best story you never heard. <laughs> but you understand that. Look, man, I'm just disappointed, man, that someone like me can confide in someone like you as a brother, bring the truth to you, bring, hey, man, look at these articles, look what they're saying, and to see you seven, eight years later presenting the information or dropping the information and, and, and fucking making a confederacy with another squiller on IG. Spin Lloyd, they call him Vin Lloyd, but he's he's spinning them. Spin Lloyd, you know what I mean? You might not know nothing about all this, but I got to address all these motherfuckers, man, because it's disappointing. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, it ain't even like all this is happening in our community. This is outside of us, which is why I can, I only got to address it one time. You know what I mean? Outside of that, shit, man, you, you creating your own chaos. You think people just going to kick back and then just let you just, you know, tee off and create chaos? Man. You know what I'm saying? You you are thoroughly underestimating the chaos that you create when you speak on things because you, you become, you know, more than unlikable. You become more than the biggest bitch. You become the biggest Baphomet. You become Asatan. And there's only one conclusion to the matter. There's only one you know what I'm saying? Full resolution to someone that's just ratting off at the mouth about somebody's, you know what I'm saying, legal issues or personal issues that they don't know about. It's beyond YouTube, bro. You know what I'm saying? We from the streets. We we from pedigree. Niggas, niggas don't rock with that. Nagas don't rock with that. Nagas in Ohio don't rock with that. Nagas in New York don't rock with that. I mean, damn, New York. <laughs> I love New York, but the people that represent you, this Spinathan Lord, this Vin Lord, Martin Luther, whatever the fuck on IG, this little fucking midget, man. Hey, man, these niggas that represent you ain't shit, New York. Be acting like a bitch, New York. I love New York. Half my family's from New York. Ohio. Cleveland, niggas ain't rocking with that. I don't even got to say shit. You, you doing this to yourself, man. Because this is now, this is published information. I don't care if I was the biggest goon in 2011. If I confide in you, I'm like, yeah, man, this is where I was. And now this is where I am. And to use 
that to discredit me or my platform or my peoples. Even if I was in the wrong, bro, I'm not over here to try to prove nothing to no fucking body. Because me and my people know, my wife know. You know what I'm saying? My people know what happened. So I don't give a shit what the fuck anybody think about it. I told y'all, man, earmuffs put the kitties to bed. It's getting real. The price is going up. The price is going way up. We ain't holding back on these little sucker Tony Jacks. We ain't holding back on these little clowns, man. I told y'all the price is going up. So don't act like you surprised. Look, man, when I confide in you and I tell you the truth about my shit, and your silly ass, rat face, flicked mouth, motherfucking ass want to come out and start talking slick on some shit that I told you and drop articles that I led you to as if you're doing research. I mean, what happened to the research? What happened to the research? I thought you was researchers. Now you're reading off, oh, well, this this situation happened and the prosecutor said, X. I don't, nigga, this is a 2011. Do you got a 2018 update? Do you got a 2018 update? No, you don't, you don't know what's going on? So you dropping shit from 2011, 2012, and you ain't got no update? And this is what you dropping as a fact? Let's read it again. You shall not bear false witness against your brother. So let's get to the heart of this thing, because it's not about Lex Wheels, rants and shit. There's a reason why you're in shame. There's a reason why you shave your fucking head. Your peanut fucking pe pinochle head. You're not, you're no longer Lex Will, man. Not to me. You're Lex Squill. When I refer to you as Lex the Squill, Lex Squill. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna call you Vexed Lex. You Vexed Lex, man. Why you Vexed? Why you Vexed Lex? Why, why you do that? You and Spinner than Lord. Spin Lloyd and Vex Lex Lex the Squeal. You're showing what you're what you're collectively showing is very agentish. I don't know if you're Asian or not, bro, but your activity is agent-ish. You know what I'm saying? You know about the issues. You know about the issues. You always say you're the biggest bitch, right? What grown ass man calls himself a female dog? The biggest female dog and licks his fingers and smokes estrogen laced cigarettes it's just too much estrogen for you man and then you do a video on estrogen while smoking estrogen laced cigarettes that's when I really know that wisdom is not with you man mama is not with you why you vexed it's the emotion it's the rage it's the anger why you angry why you vexed? No one stole nothing from you. We done gave you plenty of honor and credit on this platform. We done dropped your videos. We done dropped links. Vin Lloyd, I don't even, I don't know none of y'all. Lex, man, you the only person that I ever had to block on my cell phone, man. Because you call me on Shabbats, you call me on the Shabbat and just start talking madness. Oh man, we should rally up against the Native American hijack proxies and just go attack Native American proxies. Like, nigga, this ain't Animal Farm. You ain't about to rouse me into causing harm because someone doesn't know better and claim some shit. You know what I'm saying? When you start talking about attacking Native American proxies, nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's when I know you just full chaos. You would call on every damn Sabbath with some bullshit. Start causing all kind of rifts. Talking a bunch of shit. I would have to curse you out. And then you hang up in my face. After you get cursed out. Because of all the shit that you start and start talking on a damn Sabbath, and this shit happens so 
consecutively that eventually I had to figure out how to block numbers on my cell phone. And I've never had to do that with nobody. And now months later, you call yourself, oh, well, I don't like, I'm not going to call him King Dropper. Nigga, I blocked you on my cell phone, man. You've been blocked out of my shit, out of my cypher. Tell the people that you're blocked. Tell the people that no one's fucking with you. Then they can understand why you're vexed. Why you're vexed, Lex? Cause I can't, I can't, I, I can't call drop no more. I'm vexed because I can't leave comments on his YouTube. You blocked on YouTube. You blocked on the phone. You have been blocked before you ever even had to, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> start hating publicly. Cause personally you were blocked. Personally, the gig was up. Personally, I stopped fucking with you when I realized the chaotic path that you was on. When we get to these proverbs, I'm just following the law, bro. I'm just following the script. I can't be down with no angry-ass nigga. I can't be down with no angry-ass brother that just want to try to cause wars and talk shit and do all kind of silly shit and act like this is some Animal Farm trilogy when all we're trying to do is rock in a frequency. And I told you from the very beginning, you're not going to know my design. You're not going to know my, you're not going to appreciate the design that Hawaii has built within me, bro. So don't let it fuck you up. I told you straight up, man. Don't let it fuck you up. And what did you do? You got fucked up. You still don't understand. You still don't overstand who I am and what we do. You don't understand nothing about the frequency. Oh, the only thing King Drop brings to the table is, is his 432. And he probably stole that. I stole the frequency. Can, can you steal a frequency? Man, love to my great fan, man. My cousin, my, my real one, LG, for putting me up on my first, first video. <laughs> discussing 432 Hertz. Back in 2011. And anybody who's been listening since 2011 has heard me mention the name LG multitudes of times, man. Love to my real one, my street fam in the city, LG, for dropping the 2432 initially on me. And then I said, damn, man, no one's really put that with hip hop, put that with our community. And then we started building on this 432. And here we are today. But you insinuate I probably stole 432. Like what else? Utah? The Mormons been in Utah. Did 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 you steal Utah from the Mormons? This video ain't about Vex Lex. It ain't about Lex Squill. And it ain't about Spin it and Lord. This video is my testimony. This video is about my own brother. In 2011, 2012, I started a production company to write, you know, screenplays, television, all that stuff like that. Man, that's what I was on that. I grew up. Since 2000, and, well, you know, since I was 11 years old doing theater and doing all this stuff out here in L.A., did over 25 national television commercials before I was 17, paid for my school at UC Davis, paid for my sister's school at UCLA. So, you know, when it came to you know, writing and, and, and doing all that stuff. It was always something that I enjoyed doing, even now, you know what I'm saying? Except now I'm more focused on books and all that. But still, man, I, I enjoy, you know, writing and developing, you know, plots and, 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 and frameworks and stuff like that. And it's always been a great thing, man. So, you know, I started this company with my brother. You know, only other baseball player other than Royce Clayton to come out of Inglewood City 
and play professional baseball. They called him Covelli. They called him Coco Crisp. You know what I'm saying? And if you were prized, if you, you know, got the the article and all that kind of stuff that Lex Squill has uh, graciously, you know, uh, planted those seeds. Then you know, you know what I mean, that Coco Chris, man, played for the Cleveland Indians, man. He played for uh, the Boston Red Sox. I was his manager in 2007. You know, I graduated from UC Davis with a business economics degree. I was uh, working in the stock market right out of college in 2002, 2003. Working for uh, Merrill Lynch, Morgan Stanley, you know. I had a clean cut in the three-piece suit, you know, uh, managing ICS funds and all that stuff, man. And yeah, man, one day, man, I, I uh, you know, just being a creative person I am, just hated the feeling of sitting in a, in a cubicle. I realized, you know, I can't do another day of this. So I got up. Grab my Chinese bamboo plant <laughs> and grab my degree off the wall and uh, stepped up out the office and never looked back. Everybody thought I was crazy. Man, how can you walk out of this golden opportunity? You know what I'm saying? While I was at, at UC Davis, man, I, I did the whole pledging thing. I was 17, 18 years old. You know what I mean? Pledged Kappa Alpha Psi, was president of the chapter, did the whole frat thing and all that, man. And, I mean, I love talking about frat, man. I love to all, you know what I mean? Because I see a bunch of people talking shit about different things they don't know about. You know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> as if uh, everybody in fraternities must be bootleg because of this and this. Hey, look, man. When you're 17, 18 years old, ain't nobody dropping secrets on you. <laughs> you know, that's the time when you're just partying, getting C minuses, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just enjoying the college life, you know? But. You know, I, I I do admit, man, that, you know, if you go through certain avenues and you go through alumni chapters and, and do all that, then sure, you can go into some type of masonry, this and this and this and this. But undergrad, undergrad sororities or undergrad fraternities are not boule. They might, you know, use that to bring in, you know, certain, uh, you know, individuals from certain families, I guess, but... I just, I personally don't have that experience of meeting no one, uh, dropping no secrets of this and secrets of that or X, Y, Z, but I'm sure a lot of cats, you know, or a few of the cats at least, you know, might have went on to do this or do that, maybe. And even if they did, that don't mean that they don't come out of it, you know what I'm saying, or that you stop, you know, attempting to enlighten those particular people that might be caught in this and that. They might just have... Even just, just like B.O.B. said, he was blessing the business. You know what I'm saying? He had Mason and his family keeping him safe. Does that mean that he stops his own path of enlightenment? So we got to get off the silly shit. We got to get off the silly shit, you know what I'm saying, from the outside looking in. Oh, this must be this. If you're in this uh, you know, fraternity, then you must be that. Next Y and Z. Nah, man, some people like me you know, might pledge underground. You know what I'm saying? Go through some underground process. UC Davis was known as the insane chapter. You know what I'm saying? We were uh, a chapter full of gangbangers. <laughs> uh, a lot of cats got in with that affirmative action. You know what I'm saying? Got the C minus 2.3 averages and went to Davis and pretty much gangbanged their way through it. And that was my process, man. Just a bunch of gangbangers just beating the shit out of me for two months. That was my process, you know. I got pretty much jumped in the game for about eight weeks, you know what I'm saying? But I got love for my peoples, man, because, you know, we 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 we, we closer than close because of that process, you know. Um, you know, love to my homies, man, love to my peoples, man. So, you know, I'll always appreciate every battle wound. You know, these are just battle wounds, these are battle scars, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, every step of the way. I'm saying I got a, a 
cross on my arm before I knew, you know what I'm saying, really what a cross was. Now I see it as a towel. But back in the day, hey, man, you know what I'm saying, my, my grandma was, you know, heavy into, you know, the church and X, Y, and Z. And when she passed, I got her her name. Yeah, you can see, but, you know. You see Mary Miller, you know, across that, man. Rest in peace, man. My grandma was like my mama, you know what I'm saying? So these are all battle wounds, man. Battle scars. Like I said, I got I got I got my bro, Coco Chris, Covelli and his whole family and my family, everybody. Got a whole spiral, man. These are all battle wounds, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, don't come to conclusions and assumptions about things you don't know nothing about. You know what I mean? That's the worst thing you can do. Are there boule people in Greek fraternities? Of course, man. Does that mean that every undergrad that comes through at 17, 18 years old knows shit about that and continues down that path? No. So when you just, you know, without foundation, you know what I'm saying? These these are intelligent people that you could really reach out to. You know what I'm saying? These are intelligent people that you could really wake up, you know what I mean, and, and just connect to, so one of my goals, man, is to continue to connect to my people in the colleges, whether they're in this frat or that frat or this sort or that, or that sort, to bring them to drop, instead of stamping them as, oh, Boulay, uh, uh, you know, you, you must be the enemy, you must know the secrets, nah, man, nah, man, they don't know shit, they know about parties and bullshit, and you still gotta reach our people. You know what I'm saying? So, I know that Hawa has brought me through a certain path, you know, connected me to a certain vein, whether it's, you know, when I was 17, 18, or whether it was before that when I was just doing TV commercials, you know what I'm saying? Before I was 17 years old, like I said, I've done about 25 national TV commercials, you know what I'm saying? A bunch of little TV shows, some network shows, man. And uh, even that, even now, I know that I, I, I can sense that uh, we got a lot of people waking up, you know what I'm saying, even in the, in the entertainment business and shit like that. So I continue to keep plugged in, you know what I'm saying, with with that type of, you know, flow as well, you know, just to connect to whatever Hawaii has planned in that destiny, you know what I mean? Just like with Preston John, just like these great, uh, you know, journeys and adventures that we get into. I want to write books on that. I want to I want to do a whole Preston John movie. I want, to, I want to keep flowing with that, you know what I mean? So you're going to have to utilize every single bit of the water. Now, if I looked at the entertainment business and said, oh, that's just Hollywood and sorcery, or, you know, could I spike lead this shit? You know what I'm saying? Could I, you know, create a real indigenous independent vein you know what I'm saying through it you know can I write plays plays that inspire you know what I'm saying as a writer you can do all these things so you know you can't just be in some type of you know you know loop you know what I'm saying where you just stick to okay this must be this and this must be that and you start following all this shit man we are not on the information super highway you gotta make decisions and at the end of the day you can't give a fuck, man, about what no one thinks. And that's what really this third wave is about. Now, getting back to this whole drop here, man. Uh, like I said, man, I did all these TV commercials, man. All this, every cereal you could think of. Coca-Cola, uh, fucking KFC, did all this shit. And right there with me was my best friend, man, that I grew up playing baseball with, Coco Chris. <clears throat> I got him signed to my talent agency when I was 11, 12 years old. And it was real brutal back then for, for children, man. You know what I mean? You'd be like, you stay, you go, you stay, you go. And, you know, he was a young kid with no personality, basically. So he would get kicked out the room early, have to wait for me to come out. And then next thing you know, he, he, he got to see me on the on the TV doing some commercial, you know what I mean? I, I didn't know how that was affecting him back then, but when he when he made it, man, he gave me that call. He called me, man, like, yo, I got drafted to the Cleveland Indians, and I'm jumping on. I, I was in college. I, I was in, at UC Davis. I was jumping up and down on my, on my bed in the dorms, man, just excited that my bro got his opportunity 
And then, you know, we, we just started pushing, man. You know what I mean? Uh, like I said, I walked out of that Morgan Stanley opportunity back then. And I started writing again. And I connected back with Coco Crisp, you know what I'm saying? And if you really want to do research, man, then you Google Marcus Andrews, right? That's my name. I am Marcus Andrews, right? Or Con Drop, King Drop, or El Hawakwa, man. But yeah, man, um, you Google with Marcus Andrews and Coco Chris, when you go beyond all the, you know, articles that you're going to see about my current situation or situation I actually just overcame, you know what I'm saying? And you're going to see back in 2005 articles in the Boston Globe and elsewhere discussing the production company I had with Coco Chris, my brother. And I'm not just saying my brother, because when this all went down, you know what I mean, when it came to the courts and all that, the bro came through and he testified against me, all these, you know, false allegations. And I was, uh, unlawfully, unlawfully in prison because of these allegations. And I've been fighting this for eight, nine years. I've been fighting these false allegations. You know, so, you know, when someone pops up and they have something to say, they don't understand the fight that you and your family's going through, and they don't understand the repercussions of their words, how it affects you or your children. You know what I mean? They just want to spew it off because of hatred and envy and jealousy. They just want to spew it off. They try to hurt. They try to make themselves something. I mean, I don't need to hurt no man to be me. I don't need to try to affect somebody's legacy to be me. And it's disappointing. Let's go. Let's go. Can we just talk with false witnesses for false wits, man? This is my testimony. I told y'all this is a long time coming. So me and Cole did our thing. Me and Cole Belly did our thing, man. We 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 went on our first dates together, man. We grew up side by side at X, Y, and Z. And all over a family vendetta, you know, close to 2009. When this man got into a situation with my brother-in-law, my sister's husband. They started building properties throughout uh, Maui and building mansions. And my brother-in-law was a property developer, you know, is a property developer. So, you know, well, when my daughter was born in 2009, they both came over, brought gifts, and then they started arguing about the properties and this man Coco's wife you know started saying some choice words some some real fucked up things to my brother-in-law who's Nigerian and he don't take no shit so they got into it and then all over that my bro right Coco Chris tells my brother-in-law I'm gonna show you what money can do same thing he ended up telling me and uh you know, he, he sued my, my brother-in-law for a million dollars. Trying to claim something about the properties and materials, but he knew that it was just completely trumped up bullshit. And when I checked him on it, he said, yeah, man, I know, man. I know I shouldn't sue family. I know, you know what I'm saying, that he didn't do nothing wrong, but he challenged my wife. You know, I, I had to do something. And that's when I knew that it was all going downhill because we were just starting a newer version of our production company around that time in 2009 called Thick Water Productions. Because blood is thicker than water and we might not be blood, blood brothers, but man, we still some thick ass water. And he came up with that title, Thick Water Productions. So all over, you know, me taking up for my brother-in-law and other things, man, he... Ended up telling me the same thing. I'm going to show you what money can do. And then that's when he accused me of using his credit card without authorization for the amount of $20,000.
and this is in 2009 or 2010 or something like this, right when he signed a $22 million contract. $22 million contract with the Oakland A's. And he just retired from the Oakland A's, I think, last year. So coaches at some high school now or something like that. So he signed a $22 million contract and then accused me of using $20,000 without his authorization. Now, mind you, this is in the middle of a very heated family situation that was getting out of hand. And, uh, you know, I don't ever blame him, honestly, because I should have saw all the, all the red flags. You know what I'm saying? I should have saw the truth. I should have saw that, you know, I should distance myself from this cat that's now putting my brother-in-law and my sister in such a hard time. But, you know, I kept the company flowing. You know, I kept going. I kept writing projects. I kept putting them on 50-50 and all these things like that. And next thing I know, while I'm in Canada, helping a friend that has a comedy club in Canada, you know, sending comics from L.A. to do shows in Canada. My wife calls me, Chef Candy calls me and says, the Secret Service is at her door accusing you of identity theft, that you used his credit card without his authorization for the amount of $20,000. And just to let you in on the specifics, this was over a four-month period of time. That means I, with a business degree, and access to this American Express black card. Now, mind you, he had about six or seven or other black cards. This particular card was the party card. It's the card that we used whenever we went out. We got to tape it together because it was broken in half because he used it so much. He didn't want to get a new one. He wanted to show everybody how much he used it. So it was, he kept it broken in half. And we taped it together to go out. And he would spend $20,000 a night, 30000 a night, and I'll be the one I always signs for it. If he needed a Bentley up in Finlay, Fenway Park or in Boston, whatever, i get the Bentley sent up for him. i sign for whatever the case is, you know what I'm saying? I was his business manager at this time. On my birthday when I turned 30, he spent $58,000 in the nightclub. $60,000 taking me out. $60,000 in the nightclub. I signed for it. Cause he's doing whatever, you know what I mean? This was just our relationship. I ain't got no time to bullshit with you. I'm just letting you in on my testimony. So to see this all come up over $20,000 over a period of four months when we had a company going and my salary for the company was $4,500 a month cash. I'm just letting you in on all the specifics for all the false witnesses with false wits. I'm getting paid $4,500 cash to write screenplays, to set up all these meetings and, 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 and write all this stuff and treatments and package all these TV shows. We got signed to the one of the top 10 agencies in Hollywood, the Gersh Agency. I'm over there meeting with David Gersh. I'm doing all this and I realized why Hawaii <laughs> completely you know, shut it all down. For me, it's because I wasn't, man, look, if I would have got popping with all that, there's no way I would have ever found a drop myself. There would be no drop nation. There would be no 432 to drop. It was this situation, which is why I'm giving you the specifics. It was this situation that brought me and humbled me to a place to even open the script, to even be still enough to see clearly. So yeah, all this happens, I'm accused of not having authorization for $20,000. Meanwhile, this was our operating agreement. I'm in court showing the operating agreement, the Articles of Incorporation, showing that I'm getting this $4,500 cash. This was getting wired to me. Four or five months, or four months went by or so, no wires were coming in. He says, oh, do what you got to do. I tell him the only account I got is this same account that I got memorized by this time. He says, oh, yeah, take care of my goddaughter. It's all good. Yeah, you know, all this. My daughter's just born, all this kind of stuff like that. I can't be playing around. 
So we get gift cards, seven gift cards over the course of four months to cover my salary for this $4,500 a month. This guy goes to court and acts like or proclaims in court that he doesn't know about our company, that he doesn't know about our business whatsoever. I'm talking to Drop Nation because this is what this video is about. It ain't about Lex Squill. It ain't about Spin Lord. It's about my testimony. Because this is some real shit that I've been going through since 2011. And this is the reason for my absence. So I go to court. I do all this. We go. I take it to trial. They try to make me do a deal. They said I'm looking at 15 years for identity theft. Aggravated identity theft. That's some George Bush 2005 law. Carrying a mandatory two years per count. I'm looking at seven counts. Because they got the seven gift cards. And all that. Now this is all while we're waiting on our tax ID number. For our, our uh, bank account and all this kind of stuff. So... I got to get the gift cards and get the stuff wired and all this stuff like that. And I'm not getting his signatures even though I got the operating agreement. I got the articles of corporation. But he goes to court and denies our business. As if I started a company, an LLC, without his knowledge, using his lawyers, using his retainer because I didn't pay for it. And everybody in the court knew he was lying. Now, I had a bench trial. I didn't even have a jury. I waived my right to jury. I was naive. I didn't really know about, you know, my lawyer said, hey, man, that, that'll that look good for the judge. I said, all right, cool. This is in 2012. What did I know, right? So I waived my right to jury. I get a bench trial. I get found guilty of all charges. This is the article that Lex Squill is reading when I got found guilty of all charges in 2012. Of course, I fight that. I go through eight, nine lawyers. My lawyers are telling me that I'm being sabotaged. In the federal defender's office, they're saying, get out of here, because someone is sabotaging you. They don't want us to fight for you. My people's just telling me, man, you, you victim of some type of Illuminati thing, man. Like. He had to do some humiliation sacrifice on somebody and take everything from them. And since he was the closest person to him, he did a humiliation sacrifice on you, man. You know what I mean? So, you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what, I, I, I still don't know. I still don't know what's really popping. But I know I've been fighting for my life. And when I talk to Lex Will, I'm letting him know, man, this is what I, this is my testimony. This, this brought me to the drop. Because at that point, I got a new trial without having an appeal. I got an attorney to get me a new trial. I got a new trial. <sighs> then I was found guilty again of all charges in a new trial. So I had two trials. I was found guilty. I came to sentencing. And that's when I just started keeping the commandments, man, around 2012, you know, 13, something like that. I just started keeping the commandments. And a miracle happened. And this is what my wife, Chef Candy, said. That's when she started to believe. The judge said, I didn't mean to find Mr. Andrews guilty of counts 5 through 14. And he took off all the aggravated identity theft, access device, for all the stuff they tried to put on me. Like they said I was looking at 15 years for. So I, I, I got it. I got them trying to twist my arm at that time, saying, oh, man, you ain't going to see your children grow up. Over what? O over this over this jabroni that's accusing me of starting a business without his knowledge? To do what? Get back at me and show me what money can do for having my brother-in-law's back, for, for fighting for what's right? Accuse me of using $20,000 over a formal period of time to get my salary for my work and my company. This should be a civil case. Dude signs a $22 million contract and comes at his best friend. He showed up in court both times and testified and said, yeah, that's my brother, Marcus. Yeah, that, yeah, 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 that's my brother in the gray suit. The Secret Service told me because I self-surrendered from Canada. 
They showed up with 15 fucking federal agents to handcuff me off the plane after I sent them my itinerary. And they say, hey, man, we tried to go to your brother to get him to drop this three or four times, but he told us to keep it in motion. That's when I really realized what evil was, what wickedness was, what I was close to the whole time. So this ain't about Lex Squill. This is about real evil. You want to be evil? Ain't nothing more evil than this. Ain't nothing more evil than what I've been facing with my own family. And you over there pointing fingers and bearing a false witness of something you know nothing about. You breaking the code, man. Thou shall not bear false witness if you don't know it. If you weren't there, if you don't know shit, if you don't got the knowledge or the not even trying to investigate the shit, you are a false witness with false wits. And there's a special place for you. There's a special outcome for you. So I go through all this. The judge reverses my charges and leaves me with four counts of mail fraud. And if you read any books and you know anything about the legal system, mail fraud is what they put on you when they got nothing else. Mail fraud means you're using the postal service to commit a crime, but now I'm not guilty of identity theft or aggravated identity theft. I'm not guilty of the crime. I'm not guilty of a scheme to defraud. So how am I guilty of four counts of mail fraud? Matter of fact, one of the counts that they overturned was mail fraud. So now I'm not guilty of one of the counts of mail fraud, Somehow I was found guilty of the other four. That's like me stopping you at your postal, uh, at your mailbox saying, hey man, you're doing something wrong. You say, no, I'm not proving. I say, I can't prove it. I can't connect it to a scheme to the fraud, but you're still doing something. So I've been in appeals and appealing that. I was finally sentenced to 10 years probation, 3,000 hours of community service. And of course, I fought that. I never took a deal. I've been fighting for my innocence the entire time. I was wrongfully convicted. I was wrongfully in prison. And while I've been wrongfully in prison over these last six months for mail fraud, I hear these false witnesses with false wits slandering my name, bearing false witness on a situation they haven't even asked me. To update. Dropping articles. Vin Lloyd did 20 videos on Instagram. Just laughing in the camera, right? Oh, it's funny. Because cause, cause the real ones that I meet, the real ones that I know from the turf, my real niggas, my real cousins, my real bros in the street, they looking at y'all. You don't know who they are, but they looking at y'all. People I ain't even met, all my real niggas I ain't even met, my real sisters I ain't even met, are looking at y'all and I'm like, yo, man, we know people, man, that even did dirty shit, and you don't even expose that. That's that. That's against the code. That's against the law to bear false witness of shit you don't know about. You don't know about it, you shut the fuck up. But you over there laughing in the camera, doing 20 Instagram videos. Every video, you got my name in your mouth. Hey, man, people are looking at you, man. Because I did nothing to you. I don't even know you, bro. I just blocked you on my phone. And I blocked you on YouTube and you went crazy. I don't agree with your bullshit. I don't, I don't agree, you know what I'm saying, with your spins. That's all. Ain't nothing personal, but now, now, now you want to drop my personal information. See, you're crossing the motherfucking line, man. I don't think you understand what you're dealing with, man. You ain't got to worry about me. But there's some man out there, man, that, that really stick to the code, man. And it's, it's not good. It's not good for people like you. You know what I mean? So they reversed all my charges, bro. Are you going to drop that? When you when you Google Marcus Andrews and Coco Chris, and you see it in ESPN, best friend of baseball player found guilty of identity theft. Guess what? I'm not guilty of identity theft. See, so everybody's going to get sued for defamation. Everybody's going to get sued for slander. Or they can retract their statements because over 
40 fucking news media motherfuckers covered this shit saying I was guilty of identity theft and I'm not guilty of identity theft. I was found not guilty of identity theft. You see, so. And these last little chump mail fraud charges, they're also being overturned. You see, so. I just did six months for nothing. I was sentenced to 10 years probation. I fought my appeal and I won my appeal. And they resentenced me. They resentenced me to the same 98-year-old Spaniard judge. And he was upset that I was fighting this straight probation because he thought he hooked me up by not putting me in jail for 15 years. He said, how dare you fight this 10 years probation, 3,000 hours of community service. And he said, all right, well, fuck it, go to jail for six months. And he remanded me on the spot. And I did my time. Chest out, chin up, nigga. Love to my real ones at MDC. Love to my real ones at Victorville, USP. They had a nigga on 20-hour, 23-hour lockdown a day. Love to my real ones at Lompoc. You know what I'm saying? Hey, all we did was study, read, and work out, my nigga. And I met the realest tribe, man. I met the realest folks, man, and... I know now why Hawa had me in that situation. And I refer all the time to Joseph, man. I refer all the time to his own brothers putting him in in the dungeon, putting him in captivity. I refer to Moshe being in the dungeon for 10 years. And I came out, and the love and the real Ahab that I received from my tribe, from my real ones, has just put me on a whole new level in the ether, knowing the realness and the loyalty. And we all took the worst of it. We took the worst from the judge. We took the words from this nigga Coco Chris. He testified two times during the All-Star break, pointing me out, and all he did was just uh, open up a jacket on himself. You know what I'm saying? Not only did he bear false witness, my bro, I'm talking to you, my best fucking friend. I'm the best man at his wedding. I'm the godfather of his children. And he did this to me over 20,000 without no call, no text. Just sent the Secret Service to my door back in 2011. And my guy Lex that I confided in, and you, you just want to read the article verbatim. Like, whose side are you on? The government? I'm fighting the government. Nigga, it's USA versus Andrews. Nigga, whose side are you on? It's pretty clear, right? And then, Lord, you laughing in the camera. Oh, this the guy you trust? Nigga, did you get an update before you talk to your people about my business? I was found not guilty. So, when it's all clear and all the resolution is done, which is happening now, you know what I'm saying? It's not just about suing the media. It's not just about suing... These motherfuckers that put me in a situation. But everybody's been fully exposed, man. My fight is against my own bro, my own family. This is beyond some silly niggas on YouTube. I'm fighting multi-millionaires, nigga. I'm fighting the U.S. government too, nigga. Lex, man, you the definition of black, death, dread. You're a fucking rat. You're a fucking snitch and a fucking squib. And that's beyond all your fucking information and credit you want. You could talk shit all fucking day. I'm done, my nigga. I'm moving on with shit. But you are a fucking rat. You're a fucking roach. You're a cockroach. You're the worst bottom bear scum bucket on the fucking earth, dude. You exposing niggas real shit. Not even thinking about his family. Going against the fucking... You, you're going against the code, man. And once you start breaking commandments and bearing false witness and ex so-called exposing information that I brought you to, I told you to look up my case, I told you to Google my shit, and you act like, oh, I got a, I got a golden nugget. Don't make me expose your shit. Nigga, I told you about the shit. I confided in you as a man. 
and you just want to drop it, do you think it's going to, hurting me is going to help you? All you did was build me, dog. Just like they did by putting me in there with real ones. Love to my real ones, my nigga. Love to my nigga Nutty. You know what I'm saying? From Inglewood family. Love to my nigga, my celly, RJ, from Carver Park Crib. My nigga Zip, from Kelly Park Crib, nigga. Love to my nigga B, nigga, from Babies, nigga, 20 Insane in Long Beach, nigga. Love, love to my nigga Young from the Pueblos, my nigga Killer from the Pueblos, nigga. Peace to my niggas that's still doing this shit in T.I., in Long Park, nigga, in Victorville. All you, nigga, my jail cell was the spot. Love to my nigga Eugene for buying all those books, man. He spent $1,000 buying that medieval history of the end of the Israelites, and we studied it every day. He bought Anatoly Fermenko. He bought the Sefer Yetzirah. He bought the Book of the Beginnings. My nigga RJ, I gave him my Tanakh, nigga. And now he got a Tanakh in MDC. Love to my nigga Zion, who when I left, he said, man, I feel like I'm leaving. We kept the Shabbat together. By the time I left, nigga, we had a dozen brothers. Akwayan. Akiyan. <laughs> Keeping Shabbat, man. That's what we do it for, man. So while we doing over there building in real time, my 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 bro Eugene from Nigeria said, man, I don't know what would have happened if this dreadhead nigga didn't come up in here, man, and, and snatch me out of all that hijack, man. Love to Thaddeus, man. We had Shook Nice lawyer up in there, Thaddeus, man, and Thaddeus, man, started seeing the drop, man, and, and, and digging on it, and was in there every day, man, studying with us, man. You see what I'm saying? Love to my nigga H-Bone, man. We over there working out and studying every day, man. That's the worst they could have done. It's put me in a situation to build up in real time, man. To eat her up in real time. And while I'm doing that, you silly motherfuckers is out here just talking reckless. Bearing false witness with false wits. Let's get it. Second Samuel 16. Like I told y'all, man, the price is going up, man. I'm going to come to a dismount, man, but let's get it right here. This is for Jay Stu, man. If it ain't about Jay Stu, it ain't about shit. Go dig on it. Put the kitties to bed. Second, second Samuel 16. King David came unto Bahurim, verse 5, and behold, a man of Saul's family was coming out from there named Shemaiah, son of Gera, and he was cursing as he was coming out. He pelted David and all of King David's servants with stones, as well as all the people and the soldiers to his right and to his left. And this is what Shemaiah had said as he cursed, Go out, go out, you man of bloodshed, you base man. Talking shit, right? Hashem, Hashem is paying you, repaying you for all the blood of the house of Saul, in whose stead you have reigned, and has given over the kingdom into the hand of Absalom your son. Behold, you are now afflicted. Ha ha ha, right? Ha ha, you're being afflicted, right? Because you are a man of bloodshed. Abashai, son of Zeruah, said to the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord the king? I'm hearing it from Hiram, my, my guardian, man. Why is this dead dog spewing shit, man? Oh, what should we do? Fall back, guardian. Caramayo over there, man. Making it happen, man. Love to Caramayo. Speaking up, man. But you know what? Fall back, Caramayo. <laughs> they saying I'll go ahead and take off his head. But the king said, what does it matter to me or to you? He is cursing because Hawa has said to him, curse David. Why is Lex vexed? Why you vexed, Lex? He is cursing because Hawa has said to him, curse David. Oh, I can't call him king. Curse the drop. Oh, he's, he's king thief, huh? Curse drop, man. Go crazy. Who can say, why have you done this? David then said to Abishai and all his servants, Here, my own son, 
who has issued from my inward seeks my life. So what now of this Benjamin? My own brother has sought my life. I got real family issues, real vendetta happening. This social media nigga named Vex Lex. Uh, man, I mean, shit, man. <laughs> so, so what now of this guy? I'm not over here emotional about you. I'm sharing my testimony. Fall back. Go crazy. Make a hundred videos, curse and drop. Cause the most high told you, most high told you so. You just doing what the most high told you. Go crazy. Let's get it, man. Psalms 54. Hey, man, one thing and one thing only. It's only one thing you need to know. The price is going up. Allow what? For the conductor with his Neginos, <laughs> when the Zephites came and said to Saul, Is not David in hiding among us? O oh God, Hawah, by your name save me, and by your might vindicate me. O oh, Hawa, hear my prayer, give ear to the utterances of my mouth, for strangers have risen up against me, and oppressors have sought my soul. They have not set Hawa before themselves. Behold, Hawa is my helper, and Hawa is with the supporters of my soul. May he repay the evil to my watchful enemies. Oh, they're watchful, they're watching everything we do. Oh, they're watching everything. They just want to talk, you talking, go fucking crazy. These watchful enemies in your truth, cut them down. With the free will offering, I will sacrifice to you. I will thank your name, Hawa, for it is good. For from every distress, he has rescued me. And upon my foes, my eye has looked. Every distress. Hawa has rescued me. Psalms 18. Let's go. Hawa. Let's get it right here in verse 32. For who is Hawa? Who is Hawa? Who is a power besides Hawa? And who is a rock besides our power? The true power is the one girding me closely with vital energy. And he will grant my way to be perfect. Making my feet like those of the hounds. And upon places high for me, he keeps me standing. Wow. You have given me your shield of salvation. Who? Train my hands for battle so that the copper bow could be bent by my arms. You will give me your shield of salvation, Hawa. In your own right hand will sustain us, Hawa. Allow, Hawa. You have widened my stride. Beneath me and my ankles have not faltered. I pursued my foes and overtook them and returned not until they were destroyed. I struck them down and they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You girded me with strength for battle. You brought my adversaries to their knees beneath me and my enemies you have gave to me in retreat. And my antagonist, I cut them down. Allow why? Proverbs 3. Let's go. We're we going to do this for a while. We're going to do this, man, for the real ones. We're going to do it for the love, man, for the Ahai. We're going to do this for the tribe. Lawa, Proverbs 3. Let's go, verse 11. My child, do not despise Hawa's discipline. Amen. I'm not above reproach. I'm not above discipline. Do you think I hate discipline? Do you think I hate discipline? Let's go. Do not despise Hawa's discipline. Do not despise his reproof for Hawa 
admonishes the one he loves. Allow And like a father, he mollifies the child. Praiseworthy is a person who has found wisdom, a person who can derive understanding from it, for it is commerce. It is better than the commerce of silver, and its produce is better than fine gold. It is more precious than pearls, and all your desires cannot compare to it. Length of days is at its, at its right and at its left, wealth and honor. Its ways are, are ways of pleasantness, and all its pathways are peace. It is the tree of life to those who grasp it, and its supporters are praiseworthy. You think I hate discipline? Why you scoff? The fault finders, the false witnesses with false wits. Let's get it, man. Who is wisdom? Proverbs 8. Let's remember. In Proverbs 3, it says what? Praiseworthy is a person who has found wisdom. A person who can derive understanding from it. But who is wisdom? Surely wisdom will call out and understanding will raise her voice. We're talking about mama. Praiseworthy is the one that finds mama. <sighs> Our breath. Understanding will raise her voice atop the heights along the way. At the place where pathways diverge, she stands near the gateways of the city. At the approach to its entrances, she cries out. To you, O oh man, do I call, and my voice is to the sons of man, simpleton, noble thoughts. Simpletons understand cleverness, fools understand in your hearts. Listen, for I will speak noble thoughts. The opinions of my lips will be fair words, for my praise will utter truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with righteousness, they contain no twisting or perversion. They are all correct to one who understands and upright to those who find knowledge. Accept my discipline and not silver. For knowledge is choicer than fine gold. For wisdom is better than pearls. Mama, and all desires cannot compare to it. I am wisdom. I dwell in cleverness. I provide knowledge of designs. Fear for why is the hatred of evil. I hate pride and haughtiness, the way of evil and a duplicious mouth. With me there is counsel and wisdom. I am understanding righteousness. Through me officials will rule and nobles all who judge righteously. I love those who love me and those who search for me shall find me. Allow why? Wealth and honor are with me, great fortune and righteousness. My fruits are better than gold. Hawa made me as the beginning of his way. Hawa made me as the beginning of his way. With wisdom, with our mama, let's go. Who's wisdom? With all forms of wisdom, Proverbs 9, did she build her house? She carved out. It's seven pillars, prepare her meat, mixed her wine, and also set her table. She has sent out her maidens to announce upon the city heights, whoever a simpleton, let him hear, man. Simpletons, hear wisdom, hear mama. As for one, the one who lacks an understanding heart, she says to him, come and partake of my food and drink of the wine that I mix. Leave your paths, O simpleton, and live. Leave your path and live. I'm not just over here to bash nobody. I ain't over here to bash Vex, Vex Lex or Spin Lloyd or my own brother Coco, Coco Covelli Crisp. I ain't here to bash. I'm saying leave your path and live because the path and the shit you kicking only leads to destruction. And that's a big fact. That's been proven. Leave your path and live. Let's get a couple more, man. Proverbs 12, 1 through 3. 
Lawa. Lawa. You know what I mean? This is the testimony, man. This is when the price goes up. One who loves knowledge loves discipline. You think I you, you, you think I hate being disciplined, man? One who loves knowledge loves discipline. But he who hates rebuke is a bore. A good man draws forth favor from Hawa. But a scheming man, a scheming man causes wickedness. And now you hear this clown, man, talking about, oh, man, I got a great scheme. You know what I'm saying? I got a great plot. Wait till you see my scheme. Wait till you see my plot. What else can I do? Hey, man, scheme all you want. Because all it does is cause your own destruction. All it does is cause more wickedness and chaos. And Hawa is our shield of salvation. There is only one. Verse 14. From the fruit of a man's mouth, he will be a righteous. From the fruit of a man's mouth, he will be sated with good. For the recompense of a man's handiwork will be returned to him. The way of the foolish one is upright in his eyes. I'm sure you think you're right. But you're a fool. You're a snitch. You're a rat. I know you think you're right, though. But the way of a foolish one is upright in his eyes. But the wise man, the wise man heeds counsel. Drop nation, man. I hide for my counsel, drop nation. The foolish one's anger will become known on that very day. But a clever man conceals his shame. One who always sprouts the truth will give righteous testimony. Loud why? Righteous testimony. Don't don't bear false witness against your brother. Let let this be a lesson to everybody. Because shame is going to cover your house. I ain't got to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Let's not meet. That won't be good. Let's not ever meet. That won't be good. Nah, man. I don't think you understand. You don't understand. You don't understand. Let's not ever meet. Let's go separate ways. One who always sprouts the truth will give righteous testimony. I appreciate y'all for listening to my testimony. I appreciate y'all for digging on it. Normally I wouldn't share none of this, but I have every right to defend myself. To state claim to the truth. 